James in Metro Detroit business now indicted by the feds in the latest cases of public corruption. They are the father and son founders of Rizzo Environmental, the trash contractors. Take a look, Chuck P. Rizzo, the senior, Chuck B. Rizzo, Jr., and a name going back many years in Detroit, Gaspar Fiore, are charged with bribery and conspiracy. We have team coverage with the seven investigators who've been on these cases and covering these people over the years. We're going to start with Jim Kirchner, live in Sterling Heights, where the Rizzo Empire was built. Jim? Yeah, Stephen, Rizzo sold out to a Canadian company, Green for Life, last fall. Get this, just two weeks before the first federal charges came out. We got a statement this afternoon from that company saying, no, Rizzo's are still with the company today. This is where that father and son built this empire over the years with multi-million dollar trash contracts with local units of government all over Metro Detroit. Tonight, that father and son are up to their necks in this federal case. You're aware of what's going on with Mr. Yes, uh, I am. I'm saddened by it, and I, I just... The federal charges include five counts of bribery, three counts of conspiracy to commit bribery for 46-year-old Chuck B. Rizzo, Jr. That's in connection with trash contracts in Clinton, Macomb, and Chesterfield townships. That's also where local officials have also been charged. Chuck P. Rizzo, known as Sr., 70 years old, is charged with seven counts of mail and wire fraud. And Chuck B. Rizzo Jr. also charged with 12 counts of mail and wire fraud. The feds say that's all in connection with at least 10 different schemes to steal money from Rizzo Environmental Services between 2013 and 2016 when the majority owner was a private equity firm in New York. Chuck B. Rizzo Jr. allegedly referred to that stolen money as OPM, other people's money. Feds also allege Rizzo used some of that money to build this castle in Bloomfield Township, where we found his partner this afternoon. I appreciate you doing your job. I'm very appreciative of that, but I don't want to talk about it. Do you it know right how now. to reach Chuck? Uh, but I'm not going to. Now, next hour at 6, more on that Rizzo castle and its future. The two Rizzos and a third businessman, Gaspar Fiore, all facing up to 20 years in prison if convicted. And also related to this case tomorrow, two local elected officials from Chesterfield and Macomb Township are set to be in federal court to plead guilty to their federal bribery charges. Live in Sterling Heights, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you for the live report. One